Following the successes that have been achieved in the fight against insurgency, the federal government is making plans to start the rebuilding of the Northeast. The government is seeking international and local support in this effort. My guest is from the United States and the focus is the Northeast. Hello, thank you for joining me on Dateline Abuja. I am Omelogo Nadi. Since the Boko Haram insurgency started in 2009, over 20,000 lives are estimated to have been lost and over 1 million displaced. Fortunately, the success of the military against the sect has paved way for the rebuilding of Nigeria's northeast region. The interview segment gives an international dimension to the rebuilding effort for the northeast of Nigeria. But up ahead. Bunim Yadi, a community once ravaged by the Boko Haram sect, is back to life as major roads and markets are open for civil activities. Take a listen. Bunim Yadi, a community in Yoba State, suffered devastations in the hands of the Boko Haram sect. Aside from the lives that were lost, Houses were burnt and the place was occupied by members of the sect. Following the success of the military in the fight against the insurgents, however, the major road in the community has been opened for full operation. Residents who had fled in the heat of the insurgency are returning to their ancestral land to bring life back to the once busy town. I'm very happy, I'm excited. Today, to couple with the sadness, I'm sure you've seen how things, uh, the, the level of destruction in this town. But that notwithstanding, is a cause of joy for us. At least we have something to fall back on. You were there when we were calling on the opening of the roads. Now they have responded and opened the road last Saturday. We expect more assistance to this community. We have problem of water supply. We have problem of uh, health facilities. And we have this particularly our road. Even though last two years the executive governor have already awarded, so we are sure, uh, we are uh, we are praying that the contractors will come and start their work. While the people are picking what remains of their lives, government responds by supplying relief materials to the returnees. At the current trend of IDPs leaving the designated camps back to their communities is a welcome development. This is a testimony to the fact that Nigeria is winning the war on insurgents and peace is being restored to the Northeast. This intervention should therefore be seen as a laying foundation for full relocation of the displaced persons to their communities. It is our hope and fervent prayers that with the coming of the rainy season, our citizens in the liberated territories will engage in meaningful agriculture and other activities to re-engineer our economic vitality. On our part, we must express our appreciation to Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, for his support to the ongoing operations to rid our dear country of insurgents wherever they may be. I would like to seize this opportunity to appeal to the federal government to assist the state government with adequate funds as a matter of urgency to enable it to embark on the reconstruction, the integration and rehabilitation of the affected communities before the commencement of the envisaged full-scale reconstruction program. A program which we anticipate to be undertaken through joint effort between the federal government, the state government, with the assistance of our development partners, international organizations, and friendly countries. In conclusion, well once again expressing our sincere appreciation and profound gratitude to Mr. President and indeed the federal government over the donations presented to the state for distribution to the IDPs, 
I wish to assure the Chairman, National Logistics Committee on Relief Materials that the donated items will be fairly and judiciously distributed with the aim of bringing SACA to the IDPs. Puninyadi is one of the communities that suffered the most in the hands of the insurgents and the relocation of the internally displaced persons to the ancestral home is indicative of the success of the Nigerian military in the war against insurgency.